Welcome to what's new in UVM 1.2. Uh, in this video we cover a UVM event. So the change in UVM 1.2 is that UVM event is now parameterized. So previously in 1.1 um, UVM event had these methods like trigger, get trigger data, and uh, it only worked with UVM object. Uh, so you can trigger an event uh, with a UVM object and then get it um, when you get the trigger data. In UVA 1.2 it's now parameterized so it can be any generic type of data. Uh, so to demonstrate a, a quick example here, so we have a, a basic test bench and the interesting things happens in this run phase and we use um, a UVM event and we parameterize it as a string. Um, so we have a fork here and one, one branch of the fork waits 10 microseconds and then triggers uh, with, a, with a string message and then the other branch of the fork waits one, one microseconds and then uh, waits for one waits for the event trigger and once it gets the trigger it prints out the data so I already ran this uh, so we can look at, at what the results are so you can see the trigger fired at 10 microseconds like we expected because uh, trigger happened here and then immediately when the trigger was sensed the message printed at 10 microseconds and the data um, that was received was message which is exactly what was sent. Uh, so if you're um, if you want to modify the, the code you have for 1.1d uh, what would need to happen is that UVM event could be replaced with UVM with parameterized UVM event uh, parameterized for UVM object and that would get you the functionality the exact functionality that's present in 1.1d.